Hello everyone. Uh, let's discuss uh, FMG CBT paper one. Uh, this is medicine section. Uh, question number one is which of the following is a common side effect of ACE inhibitor? So ACE inhibitors, uh, the common side effect is cough, dry cough, but it is not given here. Uh, other side effect is uh, hyperkalemia. So hyperkalemia is commonly seen in ACE inhibitor while uh, angioedema is less than 1% uh, cases. So angioedema is also seen, but it is a rare side effect. So we have to mark the correct response here in the hyperkalemia. If cough is the uh, option, then it will be a better answer. Question number two, patient with chronic cough, x-ray shows bilateral hyalur lymphadenopathy. So if bilateral hyalur lymphadenopathy is given with ACE inhibitor elevation, the first diagnosis will be sarcoidosis. In tuberculosis, it is asymmetrical hyalur lymph nodes. So asymmetrical hyalur lymph nodes will be there. While uh, lung cancer usually does not have uh, ACE inhibitor elevation and uh, pneumonia also does not have ACE inhibitor elevation. Question number three, which vitamin deficiency is associated with immune dysfunction? Answer will be vitamin A. While vitamin B1 deficiency is associated with beriberi uh, or Wernicke's encephalopathy, vitamin C deficiency is scurvy and perifollicular hemorrhages and vitamin D is associated with osteomalacia. So correct answer is A. Uh, drug of choice for acuting the acute anaphylaxis. So this is one of the frequently asked question. This is intramuscular uh, uh, epinephrine or uh, we can say adrenaline will be given. And this is life saving drug uh, given in a concentration of 1 is to 1000 uh, intramuscularly 0.5 milligrams. That is the dose. Question 5. Which of the following is characterized by mousy order in the urine? This is uh, Phenyl cotonuria in which phenyl alanine is not able to get degraded and uh, this will cause a, a mousy order in the uh, urine phenyl ketonuria. Question number six, a patient with history of chronic alcohol use, confusion, ataxia, ophthalmoplegia. So this is characteristically seen uh, in uh, the triad of Wernicke's encephalopathy. And the cause is uh, B1 deficiency. Uh, B2 deficiency causes chelosis and uh, uh, B3 deficiency niacin causes pellagra. While B6 deficiency causes neuropathy. Along with that it uh, leads to uh, sideroblastic anemia. Sideroblastic anemia. Question 7. Which is not a characteristic, which is a characteristic feature of Marfan syndrome? Collagen deficiency leads to hyper mobile joints. Uh, while the stature will be high, uh, high arch palate can be there. Cardiovascular disease, uh, aortic regurgitation, mitral bell prolapse are additional features of Marfan's syndrome. Uh, question number eight, which is the primary treatment of uh, Graves disease? The primary treatment out of this is methimazole. This is a, a, a anti-thyroid drug which is given while uh, levothyroxine is given for hypothyroidism. Not hyperthyroidism. While propranolol is only for symptomatic relief of uh, symptoms of Graves disease. Uh, not the primary treatment. Aspirin uh, is not used for Graves thyroiditis. Uh, question number nine. Uh, 60 year old male present with hematuria, flank pain and palpable abdominal mass. What is the likely diagnosis? So hematuria with palpable abdominal mass. The first diagnosis which should be kept in mind is renal cell cancer. While bladder cancer do cause hematuria, but it will not cause flank pain and it will not cause palpable abdominal mass. Uh, nephrolithiosis can cause hematuria, flank pain, but palpable mass is not present in kidney stones. Polycystic uh, ovaries, polycystic, sorry, polycystic kidney disease, uh, there will be a bilateral uh, palpable mass will be there, palpable mass. So uh, th that should be given in the uh, question. Uh, so this, uh, the best diagnosis here will be RCC. 
which of the condition is associated with the butterfly rash on the face so butterfly rash or also known as the malar rash is seen in systemic sclerosis uh, while dermatomyositis causes the rash on the knuckle area so this is a gotten rash or v sign shawl sign that is the rash on the neck area v and rash on the back area shawl sign will be present question 11 Uh, HIV patient with white plaques on the oral mucosa that can be scraped off. What is the likely diagnosis? So, white plaque which can be easily scraped off is oral candidiasis in HIV patient. This is the most common oropharyngeal condition associated in these patients. Uh, most common cause of chronic pancreatitis. So, here can be a confusion between alcohol use and gallbladder stone. These are top two causes of chronic pancreatitis. if we have to choose one then answer will be a option uh, alcohol abuse first line treatment for status epilepticus first line means ki the first drug that you will give always give short acting benzodiazepines here so if there is no relief with the benzodiazepine then we go to uh, the other drugs like uh, valproate intravenous valproate we will be giving or phenytoin we will be giving but first always start with the benzodiazepines Question number fourteen: Which hypersensitivity is mediated by Ig antibody? Answer is type one. Type one is Ige mediated. Type two is antibody mediated. Uh, type three is immune complex circulating in the blood, and uh, type four is delayed hypersensitivity cell mediated. So answer will be a option here. Question 15: A child present with a slabbed cheek uh, rash uh, pattern. What is the most likely diagnosis? Uh, this is caused by the uh, fifth disease uh, that is erythema infectiosum, and it is uh, due to parvo virus B19. Question 16. major criteria for the diagnosis of uh, rheumatic fever so out of all uh, these carditis is the major criteria though uh, arthralgia polyarthralgia can be seen in uh, high prevalence zone but if we have to choose out of these two uh, better will be carditis other major criteria will be uh, arthritis sideram scoria subcutaneous nodule and erythema uh, marginatum a most common cause of secondary hypertension is renal parenchymal disease like chronic kidney disease and that is followed by renal artery stenosis question 18 which of the following is the best marker for myocardial infarction so these days troponin is the best marker it has replaced cpk mb as the marker for myocardial infarction cpk mb only role is for reinfarction between 3 to 10 days patient with polyuria polydipsia fasting sugar level of 150 so when the fasting level are more than equal to 126 uh, this comes in the definition of for diabetes mellitus so answer is b option here diabetes insipidus does not have a high fasting value though polyuria polydipsia can be seen in that condition which of the following is the treatment of choice for syphilis so still it is penicillin patient of copd has which change in the arterial blood gas analysis so uh, copd means ventilation problem is there so due to the hypoventilation patient retain co2 and co2 retention is respiratory acidosis most common organism causing pneumonia in a cystic fibrosis patient indeed in any structural lung disease the most common organism is pseudomonas aeruginosa streptococcus pneumonia is the most common uh, cause of pneumonia overall but in cystic fibrosis it is pseudomonas aeruginosa and it is also the most common organism in uh, bronchiectasis as well gold standard for diagnosing the uh, pulmonary embolism the gold standard is ct pulmonary angiography a uh, d dimer is basically a screening test while x ray is not sensitive to diagnose pulmonary embolism 
क्वेश्चन थर्टी फोर विच इज अरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ अ नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम सो नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम इज मेनली कैरेक्टराइज बाय प्रोटीन यूरिया प्रोटीन यूरिया ऑफ मोर देन थ्री पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम पर डे इन अडल्ट हिमेचूरिया इज अ फीचर ऑफ नेफ्रिटिक सिंड्रोम क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी फाइव फोर्टी फाइव इयर ओल्ड फीमेल हैज अ प्रोग्रेसिव डिफिकल्टी इन स्वेलिंग बोथ सॉलिड एंड लिक्विड सो वेन देर इज अ डिफिकल्टी इन स्वेलिंग बोथ सॉलिड एंड लिक्विड इट मीन्स इट इज सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ न्यूरो मस्कुलर प्रॉब्लम मीन्स द प्रोपलसिव इज डिफेक्टिव प्रोपलसिव डिस्पेजिया इज देयर so out of this the progressive nature will be seen in cases of ecclesia uh, th this is a neuromuscular uh, uh, disease while esophageal cancer it will present with mainly solid food dysphagia though it is also progressive but it is solid food both is ecclesia which is characterized by cafe yellow spots so answer is neurofibromatosis especially type 1 uh, cafe yellow spots will be present Question twenty seven. Most common cause of secondary amenorrhea in a woman of reproductive age group. It is always and always pregnancy. Pregnancy has to be ruled out for a case of secondary amenorrhea in reproductive age group. Question twenty eight. Which is the treatment of choice for severe bradycardia? So the severe bradycardia is atropin. Like AV blocks, severe AV blocks, we give atropin. most common cause of primary hyperthyroidism it is parathyroid adenoma they are more common than the uh, cancer or hyperplasia question 30 classical sign of the meningitis so besides the neck rigidity there are other signs like kernick sign or brudzinski sign so brudzinski sign is basically when we flex the uh, neck of the patient there is a passive flexion of the uh, uh, knees so this is brudzinski sign which is present here while homan sign is uh, seen in d vein thrombosis that when we compress uh, uh, when we flex the knee uh, we flex the uh, an uh, the uh, ankle joint or foot there is a pain murphy sign is for polycystitis so these are the question related to the cbt1 if you have any doubt you can ask in the uh, dems uh, telegram group all the very best